and elected to defer. And Kenyon Rambo and Michael Wiley are back deep. Paul Edinger has us underway, and a good deep kick will be taken on a knee by Rambo. Alasari under pressure and dropped first sack of the day by the Spartans. Germany and Rambo right. Quarterback draw Alasari fooling nobody. Dribbles away from Sean Wright. Finally dropped back at the 37. Against the pass as well in a passing situation here. Out of the shotgun, Belisari is again swarmed and dropped third sack by the Spartans. First to get there in a sea of green, Josh Thornhill. Everybody on the opposing team coming at you, this is how it feels, especially when there's a bone pickup. Josh Thornhill is clean, no chance to escape. And motion from Baker, the tight end. Burke delivers on target. And is this rule to catch for Burris or not? It is. Plaxico with the grab on the dive. Good for 12 yards against the coverage of Ahmed Plummer. He uses every fraction of inch to get this thing right here. Nice diving catch. That is hard to do, folks. Burke on target for Burris. We're about five yards in front of Plummer. Duckett motioning out of the tailback slot. They give to the fullback. Moss needed two, got a lot more than that. Slams to the 42 of the Buckeye. Count. Play clock under five. And gives to Duckett. Good hold through the middle for TJ, and he pushes the pile forward inside the 35-yard line. Down. Nice audible here, seeing the gash in the defense. You can see right here, good job of audible. Audibleizing by Burke. Took him a long time, but it was worth the wait. Second and two. Second down to Spartans. Boom. First down. Second to a very short three. And get off tackle, it's Duckett. Breaking tackles inside the 30 to the 28. My, maybe my sole contribution to the offense this year. I want to see DJ Duckett more at tailback. And as a result, this has turned into TJ Duckett's possession. Good five yard pickup here on first down. Nate Clements on the tackle. One of the disappointments for Ohio State this year is the performance of Niall Diggs. Should have been a four-yard loss. The All-American candidate linebacker simply couldn't get the freshman on the ground. For the Buckus And he had expected him better. Got it through the middle. Untouched until he reaches the 15. He's down to the 12. Another first down game of 11 yards. When somebody comes in the game that lights up the offensive line, this is what happens. Jensen redeeming himself for his former mistakes. Keeps his feet moving. Good job by Secura. Good job by Sean Mason. And the linemen are suddenly energized and they're blocking just a little bit harder. Here is 13 out of 16. And has this one up with plenty of leg. He is good. We got two, second and eight for Belisar. Germany slung out of bounds by Ronaldo Hill. At pace this year. Third down, play fake. Belisari oh, hanging oh, it up for Rambo and can't bring it in. Single coverage with Ant Campbell. Jarrett's 68 yarder in the first quarter. Burke over the middle and snagged at the 21 yard line. They welcome back Gary Scott. Everybody on the team, and especially Plaxico Burris and Bill Burke have been talking about how priceless this guy is. Now you see why. A deep dig pattern. And motions out wide. Burke looking for him. Settles short instead. Baker makes the catch inside the five yard line. And call timeout. Discuss this important third and goal from the 17. Throw to the end zone. Defender falls down. Burns makes the catch. Sixth touchdown of the year for Plaxico Burris. The post corner. Plummer running man for man, trips over his own man. Good concentration to be sure he puts the ball away. On that side now by Burke on the 
roll for Baker. And on his own, he may have picked it up. From the 27, back to Duckett in the power game between the tackles. Another short drop and a strike. How can they leave Burris that open? Virtually uncovered. One of the biggest weapons in college football. 19 yards, finally recovering to knock him out. Confused here. He looks in the backfield. Number 19, right there, is not supposed to be jumping inside. His fifth catch. Play fake, well executed. Burke will keep to the corner of the end zone. Upended by Plummer, and they will not give him six. They're going to mark him out at the one. Decided he wasn't going to let him in there. Here comes Burke. He turns on that five-flat speed to the goal line. Burke faking, gets away from Barry, crosses to a wide open Chris Baker, touchdown. And he will kick it away to Little John Flowers or Herb Haygood. And it's Haygood a yard deep. And a bit of a crease, and the Spartans will start at the 28-yard line. Duck had carried it 10 times, 41 yards to lead. Michigan State on the ground, but again, Clemens gets it. Roy Clemens bursting to the 44-yard line, a pickup of 14. It's pretty well owned on the line of scrimmage, and again, right through the middle. Gaping hole for Clemens to the 44 of Ohio State, a 12-yarder after a 14-yarder. By knocking back the offensive line of Ohio State. Fake to Wiley. Belisari again under duress. What else is new? Sacked at the 30. Able to see him anyhow. Fourth sack of Belisari. Gets this one underway, and it's almost intercepted by Ant Campbell, who stepped in front of Germany. For this kick by Stoltz. One again, not very deep. Bounds to the 30. Thomas Wright gets a big hit. They've got a rally. Offense needs to help by getting out of the shadow of their own end zone. This will help. A strike to Gary Scott. Burke, shovel pass underneath the blitz. And here goes Duckett. He's not quite 290. T.J. Duckett. Time it worked to perfection. Suddenly they're at the Buckeye 49. There they go to Burris. Lumber. Gave him the little pad, comes up quickly, wraps him up. That's Scott Burris, now joined by Baker on the right side. That's where Clemens heads. All kinds of room for Lloyd Clemens, and a nice cutback, neatly done, down to the 17. A 34-yarder. Which is good. Defense move against what has, for most of the year, been the best running defense in the country. Rambo returns out to the 21-yard line. The long drive answers the touchdown by the Buckeyes. Elisari throws it away, intercepted by Richard Newsom, who was the only man anywhere near that pass. And unfortunately, this is how young Steve Belisari will have to learn. He's expecting a certain route. It doesn't happen. He unloads the ball at the worst possible time. Clemens to the 15. Not like that. We'll start with an Edinger field goal try of 34 yards. He's hit today from 33 at 34. And you can tack on another one. For the senior, Edinger out of Lakeland, Florida, 23-7. In three plays in their last eight possessions. They come after Mockerman and again incomplete for Germany. Burke on the roll. Open is Scott. First down. You cannot underestimate his importance. Inside out. It's good to see if you're a Michigan State fan that they haven't gone totally conservative, and Gary Scott continues to make the big play. Duncan catches 81 yards and a touchdown. Clemens. 
Bowles some big first down games, most of them right through the middle. And completed passes. That is the first first down by the Ohio State offense since their initial possession of the game. And this is back to form. T.J. Turner in charge of the offense. That lost three. Down goes Mockerman at the 25. Jace Saylor gets in this time. Minus eight rushing. The Buckeye. Time for Mockerman. Incomplete for Germany. Making the play over his back was Rinaldo Hill. So Stoltz's 10th punt, not any better than the last one, except for maybe the roll. Gary Scott's return is a good one. And a tailback, it's still Clemens. He and Beckett, a very effective one-two punch. It's about nine yards for Clemens, down to the 28-yard line of the Buckeyes. And our Axe Equitable players of the game, Gary Berry, busy, busier than he'd like to be. He's made a dozen tackles. This is Matt Keller. And that might be our final snap. So Ohio State sees a two-game winning streak in. They fall to six and four. Three and three in conference play. They can just about forget another 10-win season, another January bowl appearance. They simply have to figure out how to play Ohio State football again because at no point today did they look like Ohio State. They gained only 81 yards total in a 23-7 wipeout. And the